Hello everyone, and today I will be reading an Arlecchino Existener by me, so let's get into it. Steam swirled around the small bathroom, the water from the shower cascading down your back as you let the warmth soothe your muscles. You had been lost in the moment, letting the stress of the day melt away when you heard the soft click from the door. Your eyes snapped open, heart racing slightly at the intrusion. And before you could react, you heard a familiar voice. I did not think I would catch you like this. It was Arlequino, her tone full of amusement. You quickly turned, peeking over the shower curtain. Arlequino, just what are you doing like this? Did you at least knock? I would actually like to say I did, but you seemed so busy and occupied, so you didn't hear me. And that's why I'm here. I'm certainly not to be blamed. But I will say I was not expecting such a show. Not that I'm exactly complaining. She said, a smirk tugging at her lips as she casually leaned against the doorframe, her arms crossed over her chest. You rolled your eyes, though you could not hide the flush creeping up your neck. Well, you could at least give me a heads up before barging in like that. Her gaze softened slightly, but the playful glint in her eyes remained. I am not one for waiting, you know that. She stepped closer, her fingers tracing the edge of the sink, as she watched you with that intense, unreadable expression she always wore. You swallowed hard, trying to regain some composure. I'm almost done. You could just wait outside. You know, I'll be out there in a couple minutes. But she didn't move. Instead, she tilted her head slightly her gaze unwavering as her eyes looked over you. You're not in a hurry, are you? You blinked, heat rising in your chest, but you knew this was simply her way of teasing. Arlequina had a habit of pushing your buttons, testing your reactions, enjoying how easily she could fluster you, and just how easy to read you were. The reactions you provided were a little bit too entertaining to ignore. And as much as you hated to admit it, it always worked, and you would always end up being flustered. You huffed, pulling the shower curtain a little tighter around yourself. I thought you had more important things to do than bothering me while I shower. Arlequino shrugged, her smirk growing. Maybe, but seeing you all worked up like this, that's worth a few minutes. You shook your head, though you couldn't help but smile a little. You're ridiculous. She took a step closer, her hand resting lightly on the edge of the shower curtain, her fingers brushing against your arm. The playful look in her eyes softened, replaced by something warmer. Maybe, but it's not like you're not into it. You swallowed, the warmth of her touch sending a shiver down your spine. Arlequino. She leaned in slightly, her voice dropping to a low murmur. You know, if you wanted some company, all you had to do was ask. Your heart skipped a beat at her words, the playful tone returning to her voice. You could feel the heat rising to your cheeks, the steam from the shower only amplifying the warmth between you. You... you're just... you're impossible, Ardequino. Come on, head out. Her smirk widened, but there was a softness to her gaze now, something that made your heart flutter. Perhaps I am. Either way, 
I will leave you to your shower. For now. And before you could respond, she straightened up, her teasing smile still in place, as she made her way to the door. Try not to take too long. I'll be waiting. With that, she slipped out of the bathroom, leaving you standing there, breathless from her sudden appearance. You let out a long sigh, your heart pounding in your chest as you leaned back against the cool tiles. Arlequino always had a way of getting underneath your skin, but you wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. She might tease and push your buttons, but beneath that playful exterior, you knew she cared deeply. It wasn't the way she looked at you, the way she made sure you were never too far from her side. And as you finished up your shower and toweled off, you couldn't help but smile. Because even when she caught you off guard like that, it reminded you of just how different she is when she's with you. A part of her that comes out when no one else but you is around. And once you open the door, you found her lounging on the bed her eyes immediately locking onto yours as you entered the room. Finally done. You rolled your eyes, but the smile tugging at your lips was undeniable. You know, normal people let their partners finish a shower in peace. She raised an eyebrow, her smirk returning. Good thing I'm not normal. You couldn't argue with that, and you chuckled softly at her words, shaking your head as you went to the closet and got something to change into. You were certain that Arlequina would not leave you alone for the rest of the evening, but it was not an idea you exactly minded. All you wanted in the end was just to be in her company, in her arms, to feel her love and affection. And with the way she was being, that would not be a hard task to accomplish today. Not when she had so much love ready to give. <laughs>